Hi there friends, it's Sarah from Ruffles and Rain Boots and today we're making this spooky witch gnome. She's super cute, easy, and boop if you'd like to make her stick around. Now we are going to start out with some regular materials. We're going to make a nose and some hands, so grab some clay. We're also going to take a no so gnome pattern. This is one of mine and it's on special if you sign up for my newsletter list. We're going to alter it and we're going to share a witch gnome hat, some apron materials. So we're going to share a lot of stuff with you here. We're also going to talk about some watercolored merino wool, some very plush fleece, and some premium felt. But before we get started, Hi, I'm here with a friendly gnome reminder to subscribe. How? Just click that red subscribe button below and then the bell for turning on all notifications. Now let's get back to Sarah and the crafts. <laughs> okay, so we are going to start by making the nose and the hands and I'm just using some polymer clay here. You can use air dry clay. It does crack a little bit more, but we're just going to shape it into a nice rounded off triangle. Uh, it's going to stick straight out. So based on whatever size gnome you'd like to make. You can make this after your gnome body is created. Now I used a little teeny tiny bit of dark green gnome, but you can use purple or whatever, and I gave her a nice ugly wart. Bam. Okay, so we're also going to make two small balls for the hands, and then we're gonna bake that and let it cool completely. Next up, we're gonna take that no so gnome potty, uh, pattern, wow, for the body, and I'll put that link below, but what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna make it a little bit wider and a little bit taller. I wanted her to be sort of tall and thin, kind of spooky. We're gonna assemble it pull per the instructions, I speak the English most days. And once it's dry, we are going to flip it over and fill it. I'm using poly beads, and of course I have to spill some. We're also going to stuff the top all the way up to that tippy top there with polyfill. And then you're gonna roll it in your hands, distribute it. And so now we're gonna make the witch hat. So if you have black stiff felt, use that. I have this premium felt that I totally have to use, so I'm just using a bowl to cut a round circle. A round circle. That's ridiculous. But anyway, you can actually cut two of those circles. So just FYI, when you cut them, we're gonna cut out a center. I'm using the size of a, a ribbon, you know, like a spool of ribbon. And so all I'm gonna do here is cut along the line that I traced with my X-Acto knife, just so it'll be nice and even. And then I cut two of these. You don't have to, but I just like to finish hat because I wanted to pull the hat back. Okay, all right, so now we're gonna create the other portion of the witch's hat, which is the cone, and it's super simple. You can decide how thick you want it, but here we are, we created a fold, we cut our pattern, and now we're just gonna make it into a cone. This is a super duper easy no so gnome. Um, she is, you know, standing, and so what I'm gonna do is share that shoe video in a separate series. Um, they're super easy to make, and they're so much fun. Uh, so you'll see that video soon if it's not already out. It depends on which ones I have to get edited first. And so now that we've got our cone all the way made, we're gonna pull it down on the uh, round part. <laughs> no, other way around. We're gonna put the round part onto the cone and pull it down. There you go. And then, see this bottom bit here? We're going to cut strips. No, what are they called? Flaps. I am not supposed to be editing videos today. Apparently I cannot speak. Okay, so we're going to cut these flaps all around and you're just going to make them about half inch to an inch. There's really, I, I don't think I made them even. I mean, and all I'm going to do is flip them up. See, it's kind of hard to see black on black, but you flip them up and then you just put a little hot glue right under the flippity flaps and you do that all the way around and then you cover it with the other circle you made. Woohoo! See? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And now you can't see any of the flaps. And now your witch's hat is done. Oh, but now this is a fun little, th I love making braids and merino wool is just so soft that I love it even more. All I'm gonna do is take a long set because I want very long braids. I'm going to take and rip off pieces of the merino wool and then I'm gonna color them with watercolor. That's it, let them dry, and then biggity bam, you have this. So we're just gonna divide it into three pieces, braid them however long you want. Again, I chose very long braids, um, cause I wanted this to be the focus. And you just braid them all down. You're gonna tie it off at the top and the bottom. Um, I'm using embroidery thread, um, which I don't even remember the color. And then I just brushed out the bottom and then I snipped, see that, boop, and now it looks like a, the end of a broom or it does to me. Let's just go with that. And now we're just, I'm just test fitting here. And then of course I'm going to speed all this up. You're going to do it all over again. It takes considerably longer than 
this shows. Okay, so now you have these two braids and then you're just, um, let's, let's put the hat extra on. So I have a Cricut machine. I have this free file in case you all want it. It's a skinny little design um, that says eek. Do you like that? Eek. I'm so good at the sound effects. So anyway, you just place it down and then we use the cutest little teeny tiny tool ever, the mini press from Cricut. And then you just, I do love this thing. I'm not going to lie. This is a happy place in my craft room. And then we have eek on the hat. If you don't have that, you can use stickers or you can cut it out of vinyl yourself. They're, they're not that hard to cut out with scissors. And then all we're going to do is put our braids on and then position those however you want them. I wanted the kind of fluffier part in the front. So I just glued them at the top. And then if you want, you can glue them all the way down. Um, I just measured the other one to where it looked the same. And then we're going to stick on the hat. Okay. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue down because I'm going to tip the, the hat backwards later. Okay. So I'm going to put down the nose first and make sure that I have the front exactly where I want it. And then we're going to add a little bit of glue to the bar brim of the hat and put that right on the nose because I really like when the top of the nose is covered. This is personal preference. And then I'm going to flip it back and yank down the hat. You don't have to do that. I just wanted it tipped up. So you don't have to make this either. Again, we have a pattern for optional arms. You're going to leave the very end open for our ball, our little clay ball for the hand. And then you're just going to hot glue hem that, cut it in half, and the two open ends are where we're going to insert our clay balls. Now this I also did, which was kind of fun. I don't have any black lace and because of COVID, I can't go to the store. So I painted some lace. Ta-da! Now it's all witchified. Okay, so now it's time to make our lady. Hello, lady. We're just going to add a little bit of hot glue and we're going to tuck that arm right up under the witch's hat. Biggity-bam. Super easy. We're going to repeat on the other side. Hello. Now uh, you can choose to glue the hands on, but I'm making an outfit. So this is my little apron. I just cut a square and then I hemmed that piece of lace. So it was doubled over and gave it a nice little top hem here with hot glue. And then I just hot glued that right to Miss Lady. Hello, lady. And then we just set it all the way around, give her a little bit of a belt, like a tie, you know, and I just hot glued that down as well. Hello. And then I gave her some scraps. <laughs> No sewing required. I'm, I'm loving these projects. Now, these are the super duper cool kicks that our witch is wearing. I get really excited about gnome shoes. So anyway, I will put that pattern link down below as well, but wait for the video. It's super cool. We are going to add a generous portion of hot glue there and we're going to set our lady on top. Now we're going to accessorize her with her little hands. It's always nice. And then I found a little tiny pot at the craft store, no, at the Dollar Tree, and I added a little felt in it and glued it to her. And what do you think? <laughs> She's done. What do you think? Do you like her? I've made one of these short and squatty years ago. I shared it on my Facebook page. It went crazy. So this is her now. Let me know in the comments. Will you make her? And be sure to check out that shoe tutorial below. I have a ton of them coming as well. Thank you so much for being here. Please like this video and subscribe to Ruffles and Rain Boots.